Good day everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Chrome snippets. Now, these are scripts that you author in the dev tools that have access to the page's JavaScript context, and you can run them on any page. Um, and they're pretty cool. So let's open up the dev tools. And we're gonna go over here to the sources panel. And then here in this secondary pane, we're going to open the overflow menu and select snippets. Now let me just shift things around here, give us a little bit more space. Nice. Cool, so the first thing we need to do is create a new snippet. So I'm gonna click this button here, new snippet. It gives us a title for us already. And then this is kind of a JavaScript playground that you can just write any JavaScript that you want. So I can do console log, hello world. Nice, and you can see it's got this little indicator showing me that it hasn't been saved yet. So I'm going to save with command S. Nice, so that's saved. Uh, that'll be control S on other platforms. Um, now that I have my code, I, I wanna be able to run it. Um, so let me just bring up the console tray with by hitting escape. And then I can either click this button here to run my code, or I can use the keyboard shortcut that they show me here, which is command enter. So I'm gonna do that again. Nice, and we can see here in the console, it tells us where this is coming from. So I'm saying it's coming from virtual machine and it's got this script snippet number one, which is the corresponding name over here. Cool. Now, as you're working with snippets, any variables that you create will be added to the global scope. Uh, so it's probably a good idea to default to wrapping everything with an immediately invoked function expression uh, for your snippets. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna create a function and I'm going to Copy this, put it inside, and nice. Save that and run it. Should be the exact same result, but now when I declare a variable up here, const variable equals true, I'm not gonna run into problems when I run my script multiple times because this variable only exists within the scope here. Uh, nice, some other features that we have here in the uh, snippets pane uh, is formatting. So you can see the formatting is looking a little bit weird. If I click this little button here, it'll format things nicely for me, which is kind of a nice, nice to have. Cool, next thing we can do is we can rename our snippet. So this doesn't really make any sense. So maybe we'll right click and select rename and we'll say, um, greet the world. Cool, I can get rid of this cons, we don't need that. Um, now, if I'm done with this script and I don't really wanna use it anymore, I can delete it with the same right click menu and then I'll go with remove and my script will go away. So let's create a new script and then we'll do the same thing as before, create our function, call it immediately and we'll do console log, hello world, cool. Um, so we've previously seen how you can run these scripts by using clicking the button here or using the keyboard shortcut, uh, but you can also uh, run these using the command palette in the dev tools. Uh, so you can access that by doing command or control P and that will bring this up. And now I want to run my snippet. So I'm gonna start with an exclamation point and you see it will change to run and then it'll give me my option of snippets. So if you have a, a number of snippets to select, it, it might be a nice handy way to uh, select it from this menu. You can just start typing and then hit enter and it'll run that for you. Here, let's try that again with that console cleared. Bang, and then run it. Cool. Um, because we're in the sources um, panel, we can also do some debugging uh, with our snippets. So let me create a new one and I'm gonna bring in an example I have somewhere else. And this is a snippet for um, Fizzbuzz, which is a little usually a little coding challenge that you may see it sometimes. So this loops through the numbers one through 20 and it checks to see if a number is divisible by three or a number is divisible by five. And then based on that, it logs something to the console. Cool, so I'm gonna name this fizzbuzz, cool. And just like before, I can run this by hitting command enter. You see it's logged up here, or I can run it by doing uh, command P, exclamation mark, and now I'm selecting fizzbuzz. Or one more time, I can actually do a command O, that works too, fizzbuzz. Nice, but we wanna see some debugging. Uh, so let me open the debugger pane, and I'm going to just put a breakpoint right in here, and then I'm gonna run my code, boop. And you can see just like 
any other JavaScript execution, the browser pauses for you. So I can step through my code and see what the number, what I is at this point, what fizz is and what buzz is, and then you know, debug that way. Nice. All right. So that's debugging and running. Um, so some useful tool use cases I have for snippets. Um, the first one I want to show is actually generating a UUID. So if you're working with data and your, your data has these generated UUIDs, it can be nice to just have a script that will run and generate a UUID for you for like testing purposes or something like that. You know, if you want to do some validation, you want to make sure it's a valid UUID, but it doesn't actually have to be tied to anything. It can be nice to just have a little utility to automatically generate that for you. So I can run this like before with command P exclamation point, and then I'm going to do UUID. And so what I'm doing here is inside the snippet, I have access to all the console utilities that Chrome provides. So here I have this copy function, which copies the UID to my clipboard. And then I'm returning a little message to let myself know what was happening. So now it says it was copied to the clipboard. If I go here and do um, command V for paste, I can see I've got that same UUID accessible to me. So that's really handy. Just have a little script to automatically generate a UUID or some other, maybe a formatted date might be useful for you too. Um, another cool snippet that I have, well, it's kind of silly, but it illustrates a point. Um, all of these snippets so far, they're kind of uh, running in isolation, but sometimes you want to be able to pass arguments to these functions that you're creating. Uh, in that case, we need to run your snippet a little bit differently so that you have access to it later. Um, so name of this snippet is going to be SpongeBob case. And I'm going to grab code from over here. Cool. So you can see in this code, we're actually creating a window variable on purpose, which is a function that takes some type of input. And then we are converting that into the SpongeBob case that you may have seen on memes before. And then you see the last line of my snippet, I'm just um, declaring the string and this will, what will be outputted in the console. So let me save that and then clear the console and I'm gonna run this one. So this is SpongeBob case added. So now if I start typing window.spongebob case, you can see I now have access to this function, the console tells me, and I can say that we added this function from a snippet. <laughs> and then it outputs the string for me in that handy dandy um, SpongeBob case. Cool. Once again, copy to the clipboard so I can share that in Slack or wherever would, would be most appropriate. Neat. So this was a little guide to the Chrome snippets and a few use cases that would be helpful. I hope that that helps improve your workflow down the road. See you in the next video.